Sex Bakey, so it's uh, B A K I, and the, that stands for Behaviors, Attitudes, Knowledge, and Identity. And we have this very large database, about 1,200 students from Marquette and from UWM, uh, answering all kinds of questions about sexual attitudes, sexual behaviors, sexual history. Um, and so we've been investigating that in a, in a number of ways. And what the fellowship let me do is to really, really focus on that um, with my students. And we put together a few talks, which was nice, because it kind of, uh, you know, those, those talks are now kind of being converted into journal publications. So it kind of gave us a focus and gave us, um, you know, some deadlines and some things to work on. In terms of approach, I, I really would want folks to know it's very collaborative, you know, I'm the PI and so my name is on everything, but there's just so many people that help. I have, you know, incredible graduate students. Lauren Yadlowski is the project manager for this big project. Uh, Dane Wicker is an advanced PhD student who's helped me in so many ways. And then we always have, you know, between four and uh, nine undergraduates working with us. And so <clears throat> it's important that people get that this is a really collaborative thing um, it's a team approach. I enjoy that. I, I find that kind of work great. You know, a lot of the, the actual writing is kind of isolated and I enjoy that as well, but the team stuff is really cool. So approach wise, it's a team approach. Another thing I would say is it's a mixed methods approach, meaning, you know, we, it's, it's psychological science. So we do a lot of survey, a lot of items, you're on a scale of one to six, how much do you enjoy this? Or when did you first do that? But when we say mixed methods, it means we also put in there some qualitative things. So we ask a lot of open-ended questions um, about sex and gender. One of the more interesting that we played with while we were at the GSRC was we asked students, all 1,200, in what ways is your faith related to your sexuality? And it was really phenomenal, the range of responses and the types of ways that students conceptualize how those two areas of life intersect or don't. Um, so, you know, so we take a mixed method, meaning quantitative and qualitative. Um, and then the third thing I'd say about the approach stuff is we kind of like to ask big questions. You know, a lot of science, which I respect, makes kind of incremental, small developments in the advancement of our knowledge. We really sat back with this project and wanted to ask a big, big question. So, um, you know, moving to kind of some of the, the more interesting findings, um, you know, we really wanted to look at at whole at kind of the entire human, the, the student, in terms of their sex and gender. So it wasn't just a slice of, you know, how does your number of sexual partners relate to, you know, your political attitudes. I mean, we have that data and we can answer that. But we wanted that along with a lot of bigger questions about who they are, about their identity, about... Um, you know, their, their other experiences outside of sexuality, their personality. We have data on personality, on faith, on family dynamics. And so we're, we're kind of taking, you know, big, big, big questions. As much as there's been some great work recently, um, I don't see anybody doing what we're doing. You know, you get these little people who really focus on either a certain type, like on, on lesbians or transgendered individuals, which is hugely important, and we have some of that data. But I didn't see anybody really looking at, like, the complete experience of an emerging adult. When, you know, you're really forming your identity, oftentimes you're exploring with sexual issues, you're in a context that's very different from it was two or three years ago, you're at a university with a lot more, you know, opportunities for exploration and independence, um, and so, you know, looking in that big context of emotional growth and identity development and exploration of self, where does sex fall into that? You know, what is the story students are developing around who they are as sexual beings? Um, I, I don't see that work being done anywhere. And so, and that's kind of where my training comes in. And so I thought, well, that's a perfect void for us to fill.
long history at Marquette of working on sex and gender issues around establishing the GSRC or, you know, working with the the um, the GSA, the student body, and um, you know we. It's such an ugly history Marquette has with sex and gender, but it's also such a beautiful history, right? There's this double-edged sword, partly being a Catholic Jesuit university. Um, it, it's wonderful because the social justice part of that mission speaks to inclusiveness and diversity and reaching out to you know those who are marginalized. And I've always been such a huge advocate for that approach. And I hear we have a mission saying, this is who we are. But you also have a kind of more conservative Catholic, you know, uh, veil that um, has some pretty, pretty rough attitudes and pretty rough history. Very active on campus. We're always trying to talk about our research and, you know, attending different colloquia and presenting at different places. And then, you know, in terms of our discipline in psychology, we're publishing as much as we can and trying to get psychologists to talk about this stuff. But when it comes to the city, and I'm very involved with this, you know, city in a lot of ways, we haven't done as much as we ought to. There's been a, a few talks uh, at the LGBTQ Center, for instance, um, but we haven't reached out probably in the way we should. Particularly, I know I have student members of the team who'd really like to get involved with youth. So, you know, high school, junior high kids, <coughs> who are also beginning the process of thinking about their sexuality or or solidifying it. Um, so that's that's kind of an area we'd like to explore more in the future. Mm -hmm.